slash you work out one problem on bus admittance matrix. The three phase transmission line has 230 kV, 250 MBA, 400 km line symmetrical type. Resistance is equal to 0.075 ohm per kilometer. Inductance L is equal to 1.5 milli henries per kilometer. Line charging capacitance C is equal to 12 nanofarads per kilometer. Find the bus admittance matrix of the two bus system. That's a question. Actual resistance is equal to given value into kilometer 0.075 into 400, 30 ohm per phase. Inductance. Actual inductance is equal to 1.5 into 10 power minus 3 into 400, 0.6 henries per phase. Line charging capacitance is equal to 12 into 10 power minus 9 into 400, that is equal to 4800 into 10 power minus 9 farads per phase. Inductive reactance 2 pi into 50 into 0.6, that is equal to 188.50 ohms per phase. Therefore, impedance, series impedance is equal to 30 plus J 188.50 ohms per phase. The next I have to find what is the line charging impedance. There the value is 4810 10 power minus 9. 1 by 2 pi into 50 into 4800 10 power minus 9. That is equal to minus J 663.15 ohm per phase. That value divided by 2 that is minus J 331.58 ohms. This is minus J 331.58 ohms. Here all the values are in ohms and all are in per phase values. Therefore, I have to convert all the values into per unit. I choose base KV is equal to 230. That is line to line voltage. Phase voltage is 230 by root 3. Base MBA is equal to 250. I can find base impedance that is equal to base KV square divided by base MBA 230 by root 3 the whole square divided by 250. So impedance base impedance is 70.53. Actual impedance is 30 plus J 188.50. I can find the per unit impedance that is equal to actual by base. Z per unit is equal to 0.43 plus J 2.67. Once I know the per unit impedance, I can find the per unit admittance. Y per unit is equal to 1 by Z per unit. Y per unit is equal to 0.06 minus J 0.37 in per unit. The next is I have to find this value is in ohms. I know the base that is 70.53. Therefore, actual by base minus J 331.58 divided by 70.53. This value of this impedance value is minus J 4.70 in per unit. Therefore, Y per unit is equal to 1 by minus J 4.70 that is equal to J 0.213. This is J 0.213 per unit. This is J 0.213 per unit. So, I convert all the values in per unit and now I can form a Y bus matrix. First diagonal element, it's a symmetrical type. This value is same. Therefore, first is 0.06 minus J 0.37 minus sorry plus J 0.213 so 0.06 minus J 0.16 this is 0.06 minus J 0.16 now Y12 Y12 is equal to minus 0.06 plus J 0.37 this is minus 0.06 plus J 0.37 this is a uh, Bus admittance matrix of the system. The next is I add two capacitors, send capacitance in the line 1 and 2. In the line 1, I add 1.5 millifarads. In the line 2, 2 millifarads. Find the modified Y bus or a new Y bus matrix. That's the question. Here I can find the, the given value is in millifarads. Here also given the value is in millifarads. First step I have to convert into ohms. So impedance is equal to 1 by 2 pi into 50 into 1.5 into 10 power minus 3. The value is minus J 2.12 ohms. This is the actual value. I have to convert into per unit value. Per unit is equal to actual by base minus J 2.12 divided by 
70.53 that is equal to minus j 0.03 per unit that is z per unit y per unit is equal to 1 by minus j 0.03 that is equal to j 33.33 per unit this is j 33.33 per unit similarly this line this is 2 millifarads that is equal to 1 by 2 pi into 50 into 2 into 10 power minus 3 minus j 1.59 ohms that is the actual per unit value is equal to actual by base minus j 1.59 divided by 70.53 that is equal to minus j 0.02 y per unit is equal to 1 by z to per unit therefore 1 by minus j 0.02 that is equal to j 50 per unit here the diagonal elements 0.06 minus j 0.16 plus, plus j 33.33 y22 is equal to 0.06 minus j 0.16 plus j 50 ohms. The half diagonal elements will not change. This is the new Y bus matrix. With this I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.